Welcome back to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. I've never done like a camera facing video before, so I'm kind of a bit nervous, but I don't have any fancy graphics or slides, so here we are. I wanted to talk to people, especially those that have been with the channel for a long time, about the future of the channel. Um, for the last three years, I've been juggling running the YouTube channel along with 3D printing, as well as the Discord community, along with various bike projects. I also have a full-time job doing spray foam insulation, and I'm a father to two boys. The overall workload has, I found, steadily crept up, and it's reached the point where I just realised I was going to end up doing a really crap job out of everything if I just carried on regardless. And it was putting enormous stress on myself and my family, and I could start to feel that strain on my own mental health. So with that in mind, I decided to take a break from the bike projects and from making videos and take some time and really sort out what I wanted in life. I do like doing insulation and I like doing a good job for people, but it's definitely not my passion. And I found the work to be very irregular and it makes it very difficult for me to balance my time. So I've made a decision that for the next year at least, I'm going to be focusing entirely on high voltage and light electric vehicles and 3D printing, design and manufacture. I'm not going to kid myself that any of this is going to be easy. I mean, by all sounds of things, we're heading into a recession. So maybe not the best time to start out, but I'm going to do it anyway, because if I don't, I think I'm just going to be left wondering what might have been 10 years down the road. So over the next sort of two, three months, I'm going to be transitioning from the spray foam into doing all this stuff full time. And I'm really looking forward to achieving a much better balance of work and family life along the way. There's just like a ton of content that I've been really wanting to make, but I've just not had the time to get it into video. And I'm really looking forward to being able to share that with people. So to sort of finish off this video, I'm going to just list off some of the things that I've got on the cards and that will be brought to YouTube fairly soon. Uh, the first one is probably going to be some stuff on the specialized big hit build because we're getting to the point, as you can see in this video, where we're almost ready to get it on the road, certainly at 52 volts. And we can see how the drivetrain works with the clutch derailleur and the single speed sprocket adapter that we had machined from aluminum. And if that holds up, that's one thing that I would like to make available to people. We also have the awesome Elite Light frame set to put together. And there's a few different configurations that I want to do with that, with both the BBS HD motor and the lightning rods motors. And we've also got some very interesting battery stuff for the frame to do, along with different options for people to use for wheel sets, suspension. And I've got a few different mounting options for the ASI controllers in the works as well. And some parts that can be used to make sort of modular cargo racks all kinds of stuff that I'm just, just itching to get off the ground. In fact, I have a whole list of parts that I'd like to finish designing from ideas for my modular rear hub, just to simple quality of life improvements, like, like making zip ties better and mounting points for frames and that sort of thing. Um, what else? In terms of Sir Ron, I really want to finish off the last few parts on that and tidy everything up. Rio has made this awesome monocell battery and I want to get it in the bike and go for some long range rides and I'm just really looking forward to having some time to actually do these things. I'd also like to look at what you can do with the most stripped down minimalist budget possible so not really like looking at maximum speed and power but essentially what is the cheapest thing that you can get how does it handle what improvements can you make you know can you use it to go get the shopping? Can you use it to get it on the bus? Can you, you know, can you use it to get to work and back? So what's the cheapest way to get around without breaking a sweat and also without breaking the bank balance? And I think as we, you know, we are in a huge cost of living crisis. So, you know, five or six thousand dollar e-bikes are not something a lot of people can do. So I'd like to look at, at the sort of the more economical end of the market. I also have a ton of ideas for my own frame design, which I'm going to again look to bring together some of the components that I've looked at designing over the last year or so, bring them all together. This thing you can see on the screen is just sort of very rough hatchet job that I did in Fusion a long time ago. Most of my stuff 
is on bits of paper that I accumulated on my travels. So I'd sit in the truck and I'd sketch out ideas and that kind of thing. So I'm really looking forward to getting those ideas into Fusion so you can really see the concept that I've got with this bike because I, I think it could be something quite good, something quite unique and something that could be manufactured pretty much anywhere. So pretty much absolute ton of stuff that I want to get stuck into and I'm not going to list everything on here because like we'd be here for hours. Um, I do want to send a few thanks out though and uh, to start with Massive, massive thanks to Greg, Mike and Rio on the High Voltage team. Um, you're a pleasure to work with and I'm really looking forward to working with you guys a lot more closely. Now I'm going to have more time to do so. Um, also want to thank many people on Discord who've helped me work things out in my in my head over the last little while. Uh, particular mentions go to, to Mike B, Daryl, Joe, Nails, Chris, Fizzy, JS, Ryan, Devon, Marcus, YDS, Gizmo, Monty. If I've missed you off the list, uh, I'm really sorry, but I'm really looking forward to spending more time with you guys. And the final big thank you goes to everyone here that's watching and subscribing and liking and commenting on the channel. I don't like to make a big thing out of asking for all this stuff, but it really does make a big difference. Um, the biggest biggest compliment I ever get is when someone tells me that they, they've built an e-bike because of the videos that they've watched on here. Um, your support is really, truly appreciated. Thank you for watching the channel and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.